Okay, so guys, uh, let us uh, go ahead and uh, take on this uh, nice example on accounting for share buyback. It is illustration number five. Now, I just want to explain there is a shortcut to find the maximum number of shares that can be bought back applying the debt equity ratio test. Is that fine? Yes, sir. Now, let's go ahead and take on illustration number 5 from your uh, study mat. Yes. So, Pratham Limited, a non-listed uh, company, has the following capital structure as on 31st March 20x1. Now, equity share capital, shares of rupees are 10 each fully paid, 30 lakh rupees. So, do remember, face value rupees are 10 and amount rupees are 30 lakh is a paid up share capital. Then... Reserves and surplus and that general reserve 32,50,000, securities premium 6 lakh, uh, profit and loss account 4,30,000 and revaluation reserve 6,20,000 in all 49 lakh. Oh, these are four items that are given under reserves and surplus. Only three items will be taken as a free reserve for the purpose of share buyback. Even the balance in your share premium and now it is known as what securities premium. premium account is also a free reserve for the purpose of buyback, buyback. but do not uh, consider revaluation uh, reserve that reserve is not available for uh, distribution anyways right yes and that reserve cannot be used for the purpose of buyback the reason is for the purpose of the premium on buyback, that loss, which is a buyback premium, can be adjusted against the balance in your securities premium account, which is uh, permitted under Section 52, right? Yes, sir. I can use the balance in securities premium for the purpose of buyback. Next. So, loan funds 42 lakh. A loan funds, nothing but the debt funds, how much? 42 lakh. lakh given. Next. You are required to compute by debt equity uh, ratio test. Mm. The maximum number of shares that can be bought back in the light of the above information. Okay, now let me teach you a shortcut. And also one more thing, mm. the offer price to buy back is 30 rupees per share. Rupees uh, 30 is the buyback price. That is the price your company is willing to pay to buy the shares from the shareholders, right? Yes, sir. Now, how to go about uh, calculating the number of shares that can be bought back applying the debt equity ratio test? Now, I will not follow the, the you know, the, uh, uh, you know, beating uh, the bush, okay? So, the long uh, route, I'm going to follow a shortcut to find the number of shares that can be bought back. Just take a listen, okay? Mm. Now, just see the first step. What are you going to do first? You calculate the present equity. equity. Nothing but the shareholders uh, funds, which is uh, rupees uh, 30 lakh in paid up capital, plus uh, reserves, uh, free reserves, which is 32 lakh and 50,000, plus rupees uh, 6 lakh, plus rupees 4 lakh and 30,000. So please uh, do not uh, consider revaluation reserve, right? Yes, sir. In all, uh, it is 42 lakh and 80,000. And therefore, the total amount of uh, shareholders' funds, uh, that is a uh, present equity, which is rupees 72 lakh and 80,000. Is that fine, guys? Yes. Sir. That's the first step. What is step number two? You got to calculate the minimum equity. That is your the balance and shareholders, that is shareholders' funds should not uh, fall below this amount. This is supposed to be the, the floor. You get it? Yes, sir. If this is the present equity, 72 lakh, how much? 82,000, the, you know, the top hand. So, the menu equity, nothing but what? Your equity fund should not go below how much? In this case, what is the amount of loan funds? 42. Given as 42 lakh. And what is the ratio of debt equity to be maintained after buyback? 2 is to 1. Uh, that is what is given in uh, section 68 of Companies Act 2013. Okay, 2 is to 1. one. If that is the case, think about it. Debt 
divided by equity should be not more than 2. So, what is 42 lakh debt divided by 2? That means your equity should not uh, go below how much? 21, 21 lakh. lakh. Now, I can say that this is 21 lakh and this is 72 lakh? 80,000 80, present equity. That means what? The balance in your shareholders' funds can fall by, just see the next working. So, to find the number of shares you can buy back, please remember, whenever the shares are bought back, what happens? You have to pay rupees 30 for the buyback, right? Yes, sir. Even though the face value is 10, you have to pay extra 20. Mm. That is a buyback price, rupees 30. And also remember, you have to transfer the nominal value of shares bought back to capital redemption reserve. redemption reserve. So, therefore, what you should do, this is a formula you can apply, present equity minus minimum, minimum equity. equity, divide that by rupees 30, that is the amount you have to pay for the buyback, plus what? Then rupee is at 10, that is the amount you transfer to CRR. So, what you can do, you can divide 72 lakh 80,000 minus 21 lakh, which is 51 lakh and 80,000 rupees. Divide that by rupees of 40. Why 40? Because whenever the shares are bought back, what happens? It will reduce the share capital and also it will affect your securities premium and other reserves for the premium on buyback, right? Mm. And also, you should transfer the nominal value of shares bought back to CRR. That's why in the denominator, take the buyback price rupees 30, whatever buyback price given in the question, plus another rupees 10, which is a nominal value of one share, right? Yes, sir. So, divide uh, rupees uh, 30, uh, 51 lakh and 80 thousand by rupees of 40 which is uh, 30 plus 10 which will work out to 1 lakh 29 thousand 500 shares. 500 shares can be bought back no more than that now this will suffice in the examination but for you to for you to you know be satisfied that this shortcut works just see the proof now, I am just showing the proof, okay. This working is not required in the examination. In the exam, there's three steps. What is the first step? Present equity on the screen? Yes. 72 lakh 80 thousand. And then a minimum equity, how much? 21, 21 lakh. And then maximum number of shares that can be bought back equals, what is the formula? Present equity minus a minimum equity, the whole divided by the buyback price plus nominal value of one share. So, it is going to be 51,80,000 by 40, which is 1,29,500 shares will suffice. Okay. Yes. I will show the proof. Just see. Present equity 72,80,000. Is that fine? Mm. Then from that minus the amount you should transfer to CRR will be if you buy back 1,29,500 shares into rupees 10 face value, so in all 12 lakh, 95,000 should be transferred to CRR. So, once you minus that, that is supposed to be the future equity. How much? 59 lakh, 59 lakh. Okay, that is a future equity. And that amount can reduce to how much? 21 lakh. So, minus a 21 lakh minimum equity, that means how much? 38 lakh 85,000. That means that is the amount by which your paid up capital and free reserves can reduce, right? Mm. So, divide that 30. 8 lakh 85,000 by 30. Divide that by rupees 30, only the buyback price, because already we minus the transfer to CRR, right? Yes, by 30, you will get 1 lakh 29,500 shares. shares. But please remember, is only the proof, right? Mm. As I say, proof of pudding is only in eating it, right? Yes, sir. So, it is only a proof. No need of this. Now, please remember in your textbook, 
They say the solution out there. Can we have the solution? Yes, sir. They say they have done a you know, long the approach where they assume that the amount transferred to CRR as X yeah. and the amount of buyback as Y mm. and they used uh, two equations mm. and solved it. Yes. Sir. All those are not required because all those equations are not suggested by a company's act. Okay. Mm. So just follow the approach I gave you now. The three-step approach, yes. you follow that, okay, you're good to go. Is that guys? Is that okay, guys? Yes, sir. Okay? Yes. So, bye-bye. Good luck. Thank you.